Hello friends and welcome back to another cosy vlog slash journal vlog slash just a whole lot of journaling. So I really hope you enjoy and I'll be popping in and out of voiceovers so you won't have to listen to me talk throughout the whole video. So you just grab something to journal with or just get a drink, get cosy and yeah, we're just gonna chill. So first of all, this journal spread, I wanted to kind of capture the essence of a really beautiful walk that I had and I actually went to photograph some pictures for my journal and some pen pal letters and everything was just so green because it had just rained a ton for like an entire week and obviously the plants very much enjoyed that so yeah, everything was looking really lush, really green, and it just really made me want to journal about it. And I do often journal about the forest, especially the forest that I visit most days, because it's just my favourite. So, yeah, I decided this time to paint my own, not stickers, but I just wanted to paint some leaves. I was feeling like using my gouache. As you can see, my gouache is very crispy at the moment and crusty, so it definitely needs a good spray of water to get it very nice and jelly-like again, but it worked fine here. So yeah, I just kind of painted some leaves just from memory, some from reference. And I am not the most skilled painter, so for me, I don't really put much pressure on myself and I'll just paint a load of things, but then I won't necessarily use them all. So I only used about three of the paintings that I did here on this paper. I just used some watercolor paper and then I ended up cutting it out and sticking it on. So yeah, usually I use stickers and things like that to document, but this time I was feeling the paint and it had been a while since I got it out, so yeah. I just used some different shades of green and then thought about how I'd use them later on. Usually when I start to journal about the forest, I will tend to go for a green theme, of course. So I just use a bunch of my different green stationery that I have, and then I will just kind of cover it all over the page. So for this journal spread, I decided to add a little Polaroid as well. So I wanted to have the left-hand side as the main decoration so that I could use all of those painted pieces that I'd created and then most of my writing was on the right hand side too. So because I journal about nature a lot I do have a lot of nature themed stationery and it's kind of my go-to theme so if I'm buying something and then I see there's something botanical related or forest then you know that I'm definitely going to be buying it because I just know that I'm definitely going to be using it in the future. To stick down my Polaroids I decided to use double sided sticky tape which I do tend to always use and I found it does stick the pictures down pretty well without adding too much thickness to the journal as well. So if this is your first time watching my channel, then I totally forgot to introduce myself. My name is Lizzie. By day, I am a primary school teacher here in the UK. I teach five, six and seven year olds. I teach them everything because they just have me as their teacher. So I'm with a class all year round. That's kind of how it works in the UK. 
And then when I am not at work, then I'm either in nature, in the forest, or I am creating something. So you'll see on my channel a lot, I do a lot of journaling, pen palling, and you'll see just lots of different hobbies involved as well. I'm a very creative person, and if I'm not doing something creative, then I go a little bit stir crazy. I also really like to read, which is a recent, well, I used to read a lot, but recently, I have got back into it so that's been really fun trying to incorporate that into more of my videos which is why I've started doing the read reading journal updates and things like that so yeah if you enjoy all that kind of cozy stuff then you should definitely subscribe and join my little community and come and follow me on Instagram because I also post lots of challenges to do with journaling and pen palling and I hold a entire month one in October called Meltober and it will be a fourth year running this time I think or maybe it's the third I don't know I need to check that <laughs> it's a whole lot of fun and last year we had over a thousand entries so it's a really fun time and yeah it's just a little creative gang that we are a part of and I also have my own Patreon where I will post some extra content and also create sticker sheets for my lovely patrons so shout out to them. I just generally like documenting my life so that is pretty much what you'll see most of here on my channel, me just essentially memory keeping and living my life so yeah that's me. Back to the spread. I have pretty much decorated most of it now, so I'm just going and doing the written journaling. I don't really have any rules for this, it's just what I'm feeling at the time and what I want to remember in the future. So I mentioned all the things that I would like to remember when I look back at this spread and see this photo.
I headed to Wagamama's with my best friend and it's been a very long time since I first went so I was really excited to go because just the whole cuisine is my favourite food ever and it's my favourite food to eat. So I always like to journal about things and do kind of like a travel journal style but even though this is just spending the afternoon with my best friend. So yeah, that's what I really like to journal about. And I actually purchased this vellum paper whilst I was shopping with my friend because she took me to the range which is kind of like a bit of an everything shop here in the UK but I had never visited before so she was like I have to take you to the range because they have a whole stationery section and I did end up buying some paper pads including this really pretty like played vellum paper so yeah I definitely wanted to use that in the spread and use that as a border at the top because it, you will see that I ended up adding some really big letters on the top with some stickers that I have not used in my journal before. So I bought these stickers like three years ago and I totally forgot that I had them. If you have watched my last vlog and some of my recent videos then you will know that I'm on a bit of a stationary ban at the moment mainly just because I have a lot of stationery already and I should just use it. So this is a great example of that, of me totally forgetting that I owned these stickers and now that I found them, I can use them. this really cute gyoza sticker that I also forgot that I had and found in the process. It's some stickers that my boyfriend bought me like a really long time ago because for some Christmases he would fill my Christmas stocking with stationery which obviously is great. Um, so yeah I have loads of random stationery and stickers from just things that he's bought me because he didn't really know <laughs> what to get. And he's like, ooh, Lizzie likes gyozas, so she will like this sticker. And I do like gyozas, he's not wrong. I in fact love gyozas, so we both ordered them at the dinner. So of course I had to add these. And then I had some leftover stickers from an old sticker sheet. And I do find that when I have kind of used the main stickers of a sticker sheet, I will add all the extras into my sticker release book. And then I'm more likely to use them, so the, this was like a really good way for me to use up the rest of that sheet otherwise I would put it back into the folder with all my other sticker sheets and totally forget that I had it. And then because I had some leftover space I just filled it with the vellum paper and washi tape.
So this little journaling session was all about a little breakfast date that I went on with my mum. often use my insects film for pretty much everything but this time I decided that I would just stick it in because I knew that I had a lot of pictures in there already and I did want to add some more well a lot more Polaroids in the future and I don't like my journals to get too chunky not for any particular reason other than I know that they're gonna stay with me forever so it means I'm gonna have to store them for a long time and there's gonna be a lot of them so that's the main reason why I don't want them to be super chunky because then I can fit more on a shelf. I went for like a bakery theme because obviously we went to a cafe. I had pancakes that were really nice but there definitely should have been more maple syrup and they did not give you more to have so I definitely will be asking for extra if I order it again. It seemed only perfect to use some of the Maragona Suli Arts bakery stickers which is why I used the washi tape and I also used one of the girl stickers. I also had this vintage matte paper as well which I just felt like went with the colour scheme and just fit in well with everything so I also added that on my spread too. I also kept the receipt to add to the spread but I kind of forgot about it so I was planning on using the entire receipt as ephemera and then just having like the main information that I wanted to show just peeking out which is essentially just the name of the place and what I ordered because I have been here before like a lot of times. So I don't think I'm going to forget about what it's called or anything like that but yeah I just totally forgot to even use it so I just added it at the end of the spread. So we need to talk about this butterfly washi tape because I did not forget that I had this, I did know that I had this one but I thought that it was genuinely all brown butterflies so this is me just realising that actually <laughs> there's all the different colours of the butterflies if you just keep unravelling it. So that was a new discovery that I was very excited about. So I have actually been using this washi tape a lot more often because obviously I thought that I could only use it in neutral type situations, but now I can use any color butterfly. I also had this sticker sheet which had been sent to me. I honestly can't remember who from, but again, it's another bakery theme, but more of kind of like the vintage illustrations that you might find in a vintage cookery book. I always find that the illustrations and pictures in like old cookery books are very unnerving. I don't know what it is, they just always seem a little bit creepy. Maybe that's just me. And then I also tried to add some gold ink onto this spread in the form of sparkles. I had an old fountain pen that didn't work anymore so I figured I would use it similar to a glass tip pen but it was really difficult so. I think I do just need to get a glass fountain pen, like dipping pen that I can use in the future. <laughs> 